Hello guys, I present you Grokbook. Grokbook is a little nifty tool that lets you create full-blown non-fiction books in a Jiffy. Grokbook is a streamlit application that scaffolds the creation of books from a one-line prompt using Llama 3 on Grok. It works really well on non-fiction books and generates each chapter within seconds. And we will be installing it locally and then we will also play around with it. This app mixes Llama 3 8 billion and Llama 3 70 billion, utilizing the larger model for generating the structure and the smaller of the two for creating the content. Currently, the model only uses the context of the section title to generate the chapter content. But in the future, this will be expanded to the fuller context of the book to allow Grok Book to generate quality fiction books as well. Now, you will be using the API based one. Uh, like from the grok and for that you would need to go to grok cloud and the url is console.grok.com and from there you would need to grab your api key and of course as it is will be generating a full-blown book there will be a lot of api calls but initially you get a free credit so at least you should be able to do some sort of chapter creation with it i will also drop the link to this in video's description so let's get started and we will see how can we install it locally and then we will play around with it later towards the end i will also show you its hosted version so if you don't want to install anything locally you just want to run it then you can do that from there too but sometimes the hosted version doesn't work because of the load but anyway i will show it to you towards the end of the video the virtual machine and the gpu which i'm going to use for this video is very graciously sponsored by mast compute if you're looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop their link in video description plus i'm also going to put a coupon code which will give you a further 50 percent discount on an already affordable price highly recommended i will be using the gpu and vm for this video courtesy to them let me take you to that vm this is the one where i'm using ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card, which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. Also, I would highly suggest that you install Conda to keep everything separate. I already have Conda. Let me create a virtual environment. It's always a good idea to keep stuff separate. I'm just going to call it full book. You can call it rock book, whatever you like. Let me create that. And it is going to create the virtual environment for us. Let's press Y here. Shouldn't take too long. That is done. Let's activate it. And you will see that in the parentheses on the left hand side. Let me clear the screen. Now, once that's done, the installation is fairly straightforward. So let me walk you through. First up, let's um, clone the GitHub repo. And I will also drop the link to it in video description. So simply type git clone and then grokbook.git cd to that and we are there. So that is done. Also, you would need to grab the grok API key which I showed you in the console earlier. So you would log into that website console.grok.com on the left hand side, grab the API key and then set it in your environment something like this. So let me set the grok key here and then and don't put spaces here and then i will clear the screen after putting in my key i have initialized the key and now let's install all the requirements by simply running this pip3 install requirement.txt and it is going to install all the requirements which are necessary for this thing to run let's wait for it to finish everything is installed let's clear the screen and then all you need to do to run it is to run this command python 3 dash m streamlit run main.py so let me run it and you see that it is now running at port 8501 on my local system so let me access this in the browser So this is my browser as you can see either you can type it localhost if you're running it locally or if you want to access it remotely from the browser you just type your ip and port number 8501 and you see that we have their full prompt it's very simple 
all you need to do is to just give the title of your book or just a prompt and then it is going to generate the book for it so i'm just going to maybe type um how much is enough and then or you can just type like this how much is enough let's click on generate and then it is generating the structure wow i'm just going to end the gen generation maybe here or maybe i'll just go okay so i'm just going to end the generation otherwise it is going to eat up all of my oops okay i and then i can confirm the download and this is the generated book as you see here so let's open the file there you go you see it says that how much is enough is it defining uh, chapter one and look at this oh my goodness and look at the title of the chapter exploring the concept of enough this elusive concept of enough consumer culture and you see it has all the context and then it has defined all the chapters and it is also defining the conclusion and all that stuff so you see it is even putting in all the references which it has obtained some of the discussion question and then it is even giving us activities looks like a, a academic book and then with every chapter it has not only references but activities and all that stuff now look at this history of enough so ancient civilization so from medieval to greece it is going around and around in the cult of more you saw that within i think it took me around five seconds when i stopped it but within five seconds it has even written all of this stuff now just imagine how how long would a human take to write all of this and if you read through it you will see that the myth of never enough so what happens when we get what we want why do we still feel unsatisfied the answer lies in the concept of hedonic treadmill so you see it's not that the prose is garbage it is all um, very very coherent and very very nicely written the speed plus the quality of con content is amazing so if i quickly scroll down you see it has already written a lot of stuff i think it has written chapter 14 i'm not sure <laughs> how more could it write but this is simply mind-blowing so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think i mean you saw that this is amazing so i will drop the link to it in video's description let me know uh, how you go what sort of books you create if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching